Snap fat, you can keep scrolling. Okay, I was just wondering if this is like a common fat person experience. I was at a party the other night and I met this guy who's like, oh my God, my friend looks just like you. And I was already like, mm, okay, let's see her. And he pulls out his phone, pulls up her Insta or whatever. And this girl is like a foot shorter than me, has black hair, her face looks nothing like mine, but, but she's also plus size. And I was like, do you, what do you, what do you, what? Do you just see two fat people and think like, twins? Sure, I thought you were Tess Holiday. Are you? I was the only plus size, mid size girly along with one other girl in my class. Every teacher mixed us up. I used to get people say I look like Adele all the time. Fat one. Fat activism. Fat liberation. Promoting obesity. Anti fatness. Fat bad. Unhealthy. My body, okay? Plus size. Body diversity. Or fat phobia. Or fat accepted. If you eat less and move more, you'll lose weight. If you eat less, move more, and eat plenty of protein, you'll lose body fat. If you eat less, move more, eat plenty of protein, and strength train, you'll lose body fat and build muscle. But I want to eat more, move less, and lose body fat. Hi, Virtual Mermaid, how are you? Um, what do you work with at your weight? I am going to uh, try to read that correctly and i think you're asking me what do i do for work at this weight um, because there is such a stereotype that if you're as fat as i am heaviest weight being 598 pounds currently down to 557 that we simply cannot work in the workforce it's not a stereotype most 600 pounds are not working because they can't and I am here to inform you and everyone else that was curious that I do in fact work full time. I work Monday through Friday, eight to three. Um, and I work an office job. Yes, I am sitting at a desk for a majority, a major, major, majority of my day. I will not deny that. Um, however, it is outside of my home and I go to work and the kitchen and bathroom for my job like are actually on the other side of the building so i am walking frequently down to the bathroom i go to the kitchen to heat up my breakfast wow you are walking to the bathroom you walk to prepare your meal you must burn off all your calories um my water is actually in the warehouse so i have to walk to the warehouse every time i fill up my water i also have to Sorry, I'm, I'm making lunch for work tomorrow. I um, actually have to, like part of my job, I work with adults with developmental disabilities. I am a case manager for a nonprofit, a program coordinator, if you will. Um, and I, part of my job is interacting with my clients. So I do, I work in the community division, community employment division. Um, so I do walk around and interact with my clients as they are working their job. Um, so yeah. Definitely, definitely work full time. And the thing that's shocking to, about this is. It's shocking that you measure your spinach. You are measuring leaves, zero calorie leaves. I, <laughs> that's the job I have now. When I was about 420 pounds all the way to 513, I was a full time bartender. I worked in the restaurant business. And I was a full-time bartender on my feet being a bartender. I'm sure you guys all know bartenders. They don't have chairs. Um, they don't sit. Um, and I did that job up until I was about 515. And then I got the job I have now. Um, so I there's definitely a stereotype. And I get it. Like shows like 600-pound life and things like that. Um, there is a large majority of feller fat asses like myself that don't work and collect social security, but I am not <laughs> collecting social security because I'm fat. Um, I work full time. You lost your breath talking. I think that assumption is valid. And yeah, so I am just finishing. I'm trying to grab some chicken, <laughs> jelly chicken that I'm going to measure on my wrap for work tomorrow. We don't want grams, we want ounces, 1.7. Let's 
see, two ounces, two ounces on that one. Let's just do two. Let me, I can only, I can really, I'm trying to get used to this TikTok thing. What I am not is a content creator full time. Um, so I am trying to get used to this TikTok thing and I'm um, trying to like do multiple things at once and it's kind of not my forte. Please do continue your content creation, even though you are too busy, as we can see. Um, so yeah. So I have these wraps. I did prep my breakfast that I will cook to bring to said full-time job tomorrow. Um, so yeah. Um, what do you work with at your weight? I work as a case manager at a nonprofit for an agency that works with adults with developmental disabilities. And I happen to work in the community employment development, uh, community employment division. La, 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 la. Um, so yeah, you can be fat and you can work and pay fucking taxes. Yes, but burden the society in different ways. And yeah, make too much money to qualify for any help. Maybe not working is the way to go. Psych. I've been working since I was 14. The only time I did not work was the pandemic. So I think I'm doing pretty good. Bye mermaid. Maybe not working is the way to go. The realization. And pay taxes. Too much taxes. Your multitasking is on point every day. Are y'all Barbie girls or black girls? Barbecue. Body shaming is so casual. They're often cloaked in jokes, so it's harder to call out. For example, I've seen so many videos recently go really viral on this app where people are talking about having big backs and they're like stuffing their back and their stomach, just their entire torso with pillows and then like hunch walking over to get some food or talking about food. This is at best just body shaming and at worst disordered. Our culture already really moralizes food and body size, and we don't need any more jokes or anything normalizing that behavior. This makes people not want to eat. This makes people not want to listen to their bodies. This makes people really ashamed and really self-conscious and fuels eating disorders. But then myself and others are the weird ones for calling it out because it was cloaked in a joke. How can other people's sense of humor bother you? It's not hateful. This literally has nothing to do with you. If you cloak things in humor, it has to be innocent. You just can't take a joke. This is what people mean when they say, call out body shaming, call out fat phobia, call out all these things as you see it. Sometimes they're not as obvious. Sometimes they're casual and funny and quirky and relatable. But that doesn't nullify that they play into and create the systems that we live in. It is actually okay and really good to be more critical about the media you consume. It has impacts and you don't have to be a wet blanket. Doesn't have to be labeled any certain way. Inclusivity doesn't have to be bad. You can make jokes that don't shame food and eating and already marginalized bodies. Why don't you refocus this energy into bettering yourself instead of trying to change others? Just wanted to say that I have lost 50 pounds and I have never felt healthier. My big back ha, already thinking about what I'm gonna eat tomorrow. Okay, let's be real. If you can handle the fat jokes, lose the weight, okay? That's what I'm saying. Let's yeah. Okay, let's be real. Spring has sprung, and if you are fat, existing in a larger body, wear whatever the fuck you want it's still cold where i am so i'm still wearing a sweatshirt but if you're in an area where it's starting to get warm it's starting to get really sunny then wear whatever the hell you want wear a tube top go braless wear short shorts wear a mini dress wear a tank top wear spaghetti straps wear a regular t-shirt wear anything just because you are in a larger body doesn't mean that you can't wear what you want or that you should be abused or harassed or mocked for keeping yourself cool. You know what is cool? Being healthy. And what's with the larger bodies phrase? Just say fat. Being fat. Like, we shouldn't be judged for going 
bare and we shouldn't be judged for layering up. Like, it can be cooler to wear a baggy t-shirt. Why do people assume we're trying to hide ourselves and we're insecure because we're wearing that? But also, why do we get harassed if we don't wear that? Wear whatever the hell you want. It's not that serious. If your arms are fat, if your arms have rolls, if your back has rolls, if your neck is big, if your back of your neck is big, if your back is big, if your legs are big, who cares? These are just such arbitrary beauty standards and we don't have to buy into them. They don't have any real meaning. So who cares? Keep yourself cool. Keep yourself chillin'. Wear whatever makes you feel the most confident. But you make everything about your weight. Your weight is everything. What will happen if somehow you lose weight? Will you lose everything? Your character, persona, the meaning of life. Seeing another plus-size influencer lose weight, just to turn and blame the body-positive community. Maybe because majority of the people in this group are promoting life-threatening habits? Body positivity is so important, but I think when someone wants to make a change in a healthy way that is also body positivity, and I have seen some people in the community make others feel very guilty. Can you not eat until 2 p.m.? Drink coffee, drink water, and in the morning, get up and just get on either run or get on some exercise bike and just pedal like someone's chasing you with a syringe full of poison. When you've been asleep all night, your fuel reserves, like you've got fuel in your fat, got fuel in your muscles that can be burned, and you've got fuel in your liver, it's called glycogen. And when you wake up early, all of that is as low as it's gonna be because you haven't been eating anything. Gotcha. And so if you exercise then, your body starts dropping into your body fat stores quicker. This is a song that I wrote about being fat at a Chinese buffet. It's my second favorite, aside from Jimmy Buffett. R.I.P. Best songwriter on TikTok. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more cringe TikTok compilations. And if you are anti-fat acceptance, please hit the like button to support us and spread awareness.